I found a palm tree here. And you can see that some of the leaves have been folded downwards to make a cone shape. Now this is the, actually the um, work of an animal. It has nibbled a circle around the leaf and folded downwards. And here is the animal responsible for producing these tents. This is the greater short-nosed fruit bat found uh, throughout uh, many countries in Southeast Asia. And wonderful to see two in residence here. Uh, this is uh, how they roost during the daytime in these self-made tents. This structure also helps them to remain hidden from any would-be predators. It's tempting to think that this might be a male and female here, but I'm not sure if that is the case. The sexual biology of this bat is very interesting. The mating system of this particular species is described as resource defense polygony. Now polygony is where one male has several mates and resource defense. If a male can monopolize a particular resource, then that male is able to have multiple partners who are prepared to share the same mate in order to thereby have access to the resource I'm not sure what the resource is, I can't find information on that, whether it's a feeding area or, as I rather suspect, whether it's one of these palm plants. These baby chameleons are on their own from birth to fend for themselves as their parents don't show them any parental care. I think I had awoken them quite rudely with my torch and, and camera light, the adult looking very sleepy. His prehensile tail was curled quite tightly as he gripped onto the slender grass stems with his little feet. KZN dwarf chameleons prefer grasses and reeds and shrubs to roost and forage from and can be found along the wetlands and rivers of KwaZulu-Natal. These dwarf chameleons are endemic to this province but are really getting a hard time from humans. We are reducing their natural habitat by increased development and we have also introduced pets like dogs and cats to their areas and cats especially are huge predators of chameleons. We found one shedding its skin, this chameleon probably being quite young, uh, still a juvenile. Uh, juveniles usually shed their skin far more often than adults because they have a lot more growing to do. Baboons bounce about the canopy. It's quite a lot of energy being expended. And most of the behavior essentially looks like they are playing. I've always been amazed that the agility of these baboons. They really bounce around and throw themselves from branch to branch.
This playing is always functional. They get to test their own strength and their ability and in these games they determine a hierarchy that forms the base of the structure of a troop. Keeps them from falling into chaos. The troop slowly descends from the various trees, bouncing down. They move on to a new section of the forest in an almost militant demeanor. Sentinels always ahead of the troop. The troop settles in a new piece of the forest, some on the floor and some up in the trees. They chose an amazing piece of forest, very thick and dark. Ideal for a quick snooze. They all begin little rituals that very often remind me of myself when I'm off to snooze. Glimpses in the shadows of bodies stretching out. Limbs like our own. That is where I left them. A little bit of peace and quiet. 